see I got my life back. God took control and I call that a life hack. Hey y'all, Zach here, and uh, today I want to talk a little bit about some of my frustrations uh, with physical media at the moment, specifically in the 4K Blu-ray uh, realm, but it's not just limited to that. Um, and yeah, just kind of want to vent a little bit. <clears throat> uh, a dream of mine has been to make uh, consistent videos uh, here on YouTube about physical media. Um, but where I am personally struggling uh, to kind of come to grips with that and try to make that happen um, is that it's really expensive <laughs> to uh, run a physical media channel <clears throat> um, that's super consistent. Uh, I buy movies now basically twice a year um, in July and November. It's kind of when my two big purchasing happens. Uh, Prime Day sales in July, Criterion sales in July, Black Friday deals in November, Criterion deals in November. Um, so it just becomes a little bit of a struggle to produce regular content. But where I'm, I'm getting a little frustrated um, with uh, physical media is um, obviously this is something that's been talked about a lot. Uh, not just obviously by me, but by many other people. Um, the, the pricing is, is getting just a little too out of control. I know people will uh, point back to the 80s or whatever when VHSs were you know, 35 bucks a copy and Laserdiscs were super expensive, all this sort of stuff, and think about how good we have it now. All of that can be true um, and still acknowledge that, you know, $35 for the newest M. Night Shyamalan film on 4K um, is a lot uh, in, the, in this uh, state that we're in uh, economically uh, i know a lot of other people are kind of in the same boat and trying to figure out uh, what physical media collecting looks like for them um, going forward so uh, yeah pricing is definitely one um, and then another area that i've been frustrated um, with recently has been the steel bookification of <laughs> physical media i have never been a big fan of steel books i um, hardly ever uh, buy steel books. I think I have like two in my collection, Babylon and Groundhog Day, I think, are the two I have in my collection. So, in La La Land, I have that Lionsgate silver. Um, and so, steel books aren't a big part of my physical media collecting. So, it's not something I personally, um, personally enjoy a ton is collecting those. So, uh, for a while, that was good. It means I got things cheaper. That means um, the editions that I wanted were uh, less expensive and I didn't have to worry about taking them in and out of protectors to watch them. And uh, I wasn't uh, super, I was I was doing well uh, collecting physical media and not having to buy steel books. But um, it is getting to a point uh, where now there's a lot of releases that are coming out that are steel book only or the standard slipcover edition is super hard to find. A couple examples. Um, I think the biggest one that happened this summer was Inside Out 2 came out on 4K in Steelbook only. No other option to get it on 4K uh, except the Steelbook. Um, that was kind of a tipping point for me. It had been happening a little bit here and there. I'm sure, certainly uh, sure that Sony taking over for Disney had a part in, a hand in that. Um, all the Marvel shows and Disney stuff uh, coming out pretty much uh, exclusive to Steelbooks. I mean, the, the Disney Plus shows. Um, but that was happening a couple years ago, so that's not that big a deal. Um, I think about the Body Double uh, 4K, uh, the Taxi Driver 4K. A um, couple movies I would love to purchase that um, owning in Steelbook form on 4K does not... Uh, get me out of bed in the morning, and that's not something I'm super interested in. But if I don't want that edition, I get nothing. I don't. I can't own that movie. So uh, on 4K in the format that I want. So I have to compromise on a preference of mine because I don't have another choice and another option. Um, and so that's been getting really frustrating. There are plenty of other uh, culprits I can name. Those are just some of the ones I like. Man, I really wanted this, but it's coming out uh, steel book only. Um, and yeah, it's really frustrating. <laughs> I, yeah, I really hate it, honestly, uh, because uh, not only do steelbooks often sell out, but they never go on sale. So like these movies that I would 
you know, love to wait for. I'm thinking about like body double on 4K. If it had a standard edition, it would probably go on sale on Black Friday for $15, $60. Um, if it had a standard edition, but since it's a steel book, it's probably already sold out and it's never going to go on sale. It's always going to be $35, $30, whatever it was when it came out. Same goes for Inside Out 2. That sucker's never getting a Black Friday sale. Uh, Disney doesn't really do them anyway, but it's not going to happen. Um, and so, yeah, uh, the, a few of those things adding up just makes the physical media collecting thing really frustrating right now. Um, as somebody who loves this stuff so much, um, it's been hard to pass on so many of these releases um, because of the price and because of the format uh, when it comes to the packaging, uh, which I know, you know, uh, we often get called, you know, packaging collectors and not movie collectors in this community, but um, I truly do see myself as a movie collector, but um, the Steelbook thing is really hard just because, like I said, it takes a lot of work to take care of them well. And it, I, I, we watch, my wife and I watched Groundhog Day when I got it and I fumbled, excuse me, f fumbled with the protector. And uh, it just was a pain to get out and to watch and it's just not a pleasant experience. And um, I had a bunch of steelbooks that I got rid of because I was finding it too frustrating to keep up with. Um, and so I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't think this thing is going away, um, anytime soon necessarily. Um, I I'm thankful that movies, uh, like The Terminator, uh, like North by Northwest, like, uh, Seven coming up, uh, is giving you options when it comes to the 4K. And that's a Warner Brothers thing, so kudos, hats off to them for giving the consumer options at least. Uh, and not pricing them at outrageous prices. Um, you know, I was able to get seven, the Digibook of seven off of Groove on 4K for 20 bucks with the 20% off code. Um, like that's awesome. Uh, that's that's kind of the sweet spot and where I'd like to see more of this stuff kind of trend back towards. And I know there's manufacturing issues. I know all this sort of stuff, but it's hard not to wonder when you see stuff like Deadpool and Wolverine that goes for, uh, sixty-five, seventy dollars, and then a bunch of people pre-ordered, and it sold out. Like, what precedent is that? Um, is that going to set moving forward? Uh, I'm not sure, and I'm not super comfortable with that um, as the direction things are are heading. Where we're telling these studios that it's okay to charge seventy dollars for a steelbook, uh, we'll buy it anyway, and we'll um, sell it out in pre-orders. So. Uh, yeah, I don't think any of this stuff is going away soon. I think this market uh, has trended so, the pendulum has swung so far from people who regularly, you know, check out their Walmart for DVDs or whatever, to so collector based that, you know, a lot of these studios are printing 2000 copies of these movies um, and they're charging $50 for them and they're selling out in two weeks. And it's just not, not sustainable for me, and uh, especially it's not sustainable to have a YouTube channel. Um, I know some of y'all out there are finding ways to get creative and get creative ways to do it. Um, but I don't just feel a burning fire for like physical media news and uh, live streams, breaking down release, like all those things. Like I haven't really caught the fever for that yet. So like a lot of the content I want to make is around certain releases and around uh, big sales where I can kind of show off some stuff and uh, and talk about movies I own that I love. And uh, right now in this current, the way things are, it's really hard to do that um, and do it uh, how I'd like to. So, uh, I mean, it's to the point now where I my first Criterion haul this month was cheaper than one Deadpool and Wolverine steelbook. Like, that's kind of how far this thing has swung over and Criterion sales is now a bargain uh, when you compare it to a lot of uh, limited edition steelbook only releases that are coming out right now. Uh, Kino Orber sales, all those things too. Um, like the boutique stuff uh, during these sales is starting to get cheaper than the studios and that doesn't super sit great with me, but as someone who loves the Criterion and does mostly Criterion content, um, yeah, that's kind of nice, I guess. And I'll probably focus on some more of that stuff in the future just because uh, keeping up 
um, with the studio releases is very costly and um, often not in the packaging I want to easily watch my movie and at the price that doesn't justify it. So um, those are some of my frustrations with the current state of physical media as somebody who's been collecting for about three years. Um, and since I got a big boy job, I guess, really. Um, and yeah, someone who's wrestling with some of this stuff. Uh, if you're wrestling with it too, uh, drop a comment uh, down below. We'd love to hear from you and have a conversation. Um, but yeah, I am wrestling, struggling, uh, trying to figure out what this is going to look like moving forward um, in terms of my own uh, movie collection and um, what my collection looks like and the kind of th kinds of things I find myself gravitating towards in terms of purchasing. Um, and I do think some of it is like how this YouTube space has shifted too, if I'm being honest. A uh, few channels that are... Um, some might say telling it like it is, others might say kind of fear-mongering and like um, really driving up the FOMO and uh, and it's not helping, certainly. <laughs> uh, and I, I think uh, the community is worse off for it in a lot of ways. So um, thanks to y'all who are in this space who are keeping it uh, real, but also sensible and fun. And I appreciate all of you. Uh, thanks for watching this video if you watched it this far. Um, there's no like high production to this. Um, if you're just looking for somebody else who feels kind of how you feel about this stuff right now. Um, yeah, join me in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, but enough of that. Um, be on the lookout for some Criterion stuff here soon. Uh, some haul videos and uh, 2024 collection video. Uh, and some other stuff coming soon. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Looking at me now, yeah, see I got my life back God took control and I call that a life hack